Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and JerryAnnRichardson.com. So, uh, got up this morning, uh, started moving some uh, big, uh, basically gate, uh, chain link fence uh, panels um, that I was going to put up along the um, edge of the property. Uh, over next to our neighbor, um, which is actually a vacant house right now. Um, the uh, There's a bank that owns it now. They sent people out and mowed uh, the property around the house, and they kind of encroached on our property just a little bit. So we were going to go ahead and put up uh, a piece of fence line to... Uh, designate where the property line is, keep them from mowing uh, on our property and mowing stuff that they shouldn't be mowing. Um, I didn't get very far. I got the panels loose uh, they were from where they had been stacked up um, and kind of vine and in, in tangled. Um, but I moved over closer to where they need to be. Uh, was figuring out, you know, kind of location for them. And uh, it just started getting warm. And so I had taken a little bit of a break, um, was considering, you know, my next step. Uh, and Ann Al called. Um, she was wanting to rearrange her bedroom furniture just a little bit. Um, King size bed, solid wood, uh, so rather heavy. She couldn't do it herself, uh, and I had told her that I would help her, or that I would I would move it for her at some point. I just hadn't taken care of it yet, so we went over and uh, got that moved. Um, didn't take too long, but it was it. I had to dismantle the bed completely and uh, move it piece by piece um, but it's it's moved to where she wanted it um, and you know I reassembled it and you know everything was good so and I've worked on a couple of other little projects so far um, one of the uh, the cabinets in the bathroom, uh, the knob on it um, had come off a long time ago. Um, it had been, a replacement screw had been put into it, but it, it didn't fit quite right, and so the knob was always loose and coming off. And so uh, I finally found a, uh, a screw the right size for it and uh, reattached the... Uh, the knob so now it's on there nice and tight and shouldn't come off again or if it does it can be you know put back pretty easily so and I need to go in and do some dishes and we're gonna have uh, schnitzel tonight uh, we were at Aldi's a few days ago and uh, found a box of uh, pork schnitzel um, which is quite similar to a pork tenderloin breaded um, but with a cracker breading um, and so we decided we were going to try them out um, I had I've had schnitzel before at German restaurants but uh, never tried to um, never never tried a, a pre-made frozen version of it so we'll see how it goes um, and uh, we got a couple of different uh, pasta sides to go with it. And uh, there's some green beans left over from a couple nights ago. So uh, should be a pretty good meal tonight, assuming that the uh, schnitzel is okay. Um, but I think that's going to do it for tonight. Um, i got to go back to work tomorrow. Don't want to, but I have to gotta pay bills and uh, the bills are piling up
uh, things have gotten tight recently um, because I missed some work uh, with dealing with uh, my Uncle Jerry. So, but we'll we'll make it through somehow, some way. <laughs> so, anyways, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So, uh, please subscribe. Uh, we can use all the subscribers we can get. And uh, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great evening.